Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here. Starting a new couple of gameplay uh, episodes of Green Hell Spirits of Amazonia. Dear Mia, I know I should be there with you, but if there is a chance, the Omalu promised that they would help you. I just need to find the Yapawaka. The Yapawaka? I'm not in any danger. You know they are friendly. I just need to gain their trust, like you did. Don't worry, I'll fix this. Just wait for me. And Mia, imagine how we could change the world. We're gonna change the world, Mia, you and me, together. This is my book, Jake's book. Uh oh. Uh, that's not the Yabawaka. Uh oh. Well, well, this went wrong in a hurry. Well, that was the best game ever. I loved that. Oh, it's not over. Hold on. That's a handsome looking man. Yeah, so Spirits of Amazonia, it's another chapter in the story, but its I'm not really clear on where this chapter fits. Is it a prequel kind of chapter? It, it, to me, it almost seems like it comes in the middle of the story section that we already played through. Okay, our objective is to find the boat. So apparently we didn't die from that arrow wound. The um, elder there saved us. And now we've got to get out. Oh, here. It's a beautiful game, isn't it? If you've never seen Green Hell before. Yeah, the, it definitely has its moments of beauty. Um, the boat, I'm going to assume, is down there by the water. So let's see if we can get down there. Uh, there's something here behind us. Okay, that looks cool. Coconut bowl, definitely need that. We are playing on King of the Jungle difficulty. Leaf bandage, Molinaria leaf, which I'm actually going to use immediately to, to craft a bandage. I have played through the story of Green Hell a couple of times, actually, and kind of dipped my toe into Spirits of Amazonia just to... so I didn't make a fool of myself when I recorded. Uh, when I shared this with you guys. So, um, I kind of know what I'm doing. Of course, it's been years since I played the original game. These caves are always a little treacherous. You gotta watch out for scorpions and poisonous spiders and all sorts of nasties. All right. Um, we're gonna go... There, there's probably stuff up there that we could use, but I think we're going to go down and see if we can find the boat, since that is our initial objective here. I'm just going to sneak so that um, we move a little bit slower through here, because I don't want to step on a scorpion by accident. Oh, and good luck. There's something here for us to discover. Up, oh, That's an iguana. Those are edible, but... Uh, all right, I heard a scorpion. There he is right there. And we have nothing with which to fight him. Not fight him. I mean, we could stab him and kill him with a spear. I think we're just going to have to avoid him at this point. He's kind of tracking us, though. Let's see if we can get up close to that legend. Just close enough to read it without Water getting stung by a scorpion. As the angry spirit is. Water is spoiled as the angry spirit is. There's the scorpion right down there. I have to try and get past him. Ah. Do you see him? The little guy there? We're just trying to get around him for now. I have nothing with which to hit or stab him. And we'll keep going down. Try to find the boat. Ah, stick. Definitely going to need all the sticks. All right, well, here's the water. Ooh, capybara. 
or maybe a peccary. It's hard to tell them apart. Uh, up, oh, there's the boat right down there. All right, let's go get the boat or find the boat anyway. I'm actually going to move along, not the water. I'm going to move along up here so that we have a better chance of finding the, the random stick or small stick. There's another stick. Or rocks. We need rocks, too. In fact, there's a big stone right there. Harvest that up. Now we have two rocks. And then if we grab some liana off of here. Now we can make an axe. So we'll start with the stones. Craft two stones. One stick. And a piece of rope. And we have an axe. Cool beans. Okay. Great. So that was good that we came up here instead of going down by the water. Because now we have an axe. Let's grab another stick. All right. So this is the cave that we saw from up there. We were above this cave. And we chose to go down the other cave instead. Is that another rock? I might need that. Key. Now we should be ready to go down by the water. In fact, mm, well, I'd like, to, I'd like to have a spear as well, just in case we stumble across any more spiders or nasty things that we need to defend ourselves from, but the axe will do for now anyway. Hey, there's a frog that we could eat. If we had a if we had a spear, we could well, we'll just pick that up right now. And leave it in our backpack. Okay, there's our boat. Oh, that's a small stick. What's going on with the boat? There can be piranha in these waters. You gotta watch, watch out for that. And stingrays, too. You don't want to step on one of those. Aha. Oh, a can of food. That's it. One can of food. Uh, poor Pedro. Painkillers. That's good. Oh, Pedro. Oh, no. Pedro. Oh, Pedro became a pincushion. Oh, poor Pedro. Hold to prepare for the ritual. All right, I guess we've got to do something with Pedro's body here, but in the meantime. Hello? And it's broken. Great. At least they know I'm here. Wherever here is. All right, we have to search for some spare parts to repair the radio. Uh, as I mentioned, did I mention I'm playing on King of the Jungle difficulty, which is the third of four difficulty levels. Uh, everything is um, everything is on, and the you have increased nutrition nutritional requirements. So that's probably why we're only seeing one. Peep jar bestseller, Art of Survival, of the Amazon Jungle, Julian Wilson. All right, not sure what we're supposed to do with that. Oh, okay. A new entry log bed. All right, it gave us a bunch of new things that we can craft now. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. So it taught us a bunch of new crafting recipes. Um, we only found one can of food in here. And when I uh, was here, well, anyway, whatever. But we can sleep here. It's good to know that we, we have a place that we can bunk right from the start, so. We don't have to worry about building a bed. And this is what we have to do with Pedro's body. All right, so we're gonna have to build up a little funeral pyre here. To do that, we are going to need some logs. Good thing we already crafted an ax. Okay, cool. And, and this will actually, this will not only give us the logs and stuff that we need, it'll also give us a long stick with which to make a spear 
and potentially a bow. Although we don't have any feathers to make arrows right now. I'm going to need more sticks, but we just made a bunch when we felled that tree. And more liana. another frog I think we're gonna we're gonna need the, to eat these frogs if we can shoot I missed him he made it into the water yeah I'm expecting food to be pretty scarce I don't know exactly how much the difficulty settings are gonna increase the amount of food that we need or how quickly our food depletes but better safe than sorry I should try to grab as much food as possible off this at the start Okay, so what did we need next? Oh, more. A couple more sticks, which we got. There's a small stick. And then six palm leaves. No problemo. Starting to rain. That's actually good. You know what? I'm going to put down the coconut bowl that we picked up earlier. And that'll gather up some rain for us. As we're off doing our gathering. All right, for palm leaves, um, I could chop down either of those. But these actually produce uh, fruits that we can eat. Well, nuts, these little nuts. So I'm going to leave that one there. Here, we can use this. Let me get that small stick before I start picking up the palm leaves. Eh, never mind. Hitbox issue. Is that six? That's six. Okay. I don't think it's getting dark already. I think it's just the rain making it a little dim. Two more logs. Okay. I'm going to come back for all the rest of those sticks. That'll give us a good leg up on stick gathering, having to have dropped those two trees. Four planks. We're going to need two more large trees to make planks. I just want to pick up all these small sticks, too. Ah. That's messy back in here right now with all this gatherable stuff lying around. All right, we're full up on sticks. Grab a couple more liana as long as we're here. That's 10 liana. We're full up on liana. Okay, now we need to drop another big tree. Oh, no. Ah, uh, we already... Are you kidding me? Yeah, we already broke our axe. No biggie. Make another one. We're beginners at the crafting right now, so our... Oops. Sorry. We're beginners at crafting, so our stuff does not last very long. But as we gain experience, we'll make better stuff. All right, now we're going to harvest up one log and harvest up another log to make planks. That's only two planks, but I'm not sure how many planks you can carry. You may only be able to carry two. So let's take these back and drop them in to the funeral pyre. Poor Pedro. I'm going to miss him. We were really close. I mean, we just met like three days ago, but we were still. I felt an immediate connection, me and Pedro. And now he's gone. Wow, lots of sticks lying around up here. 
right, we're going to harvest this log and harvest that log. We should be all we need. I'm lost already. And seven banana leaves. There's a banana tree right over here. I saw it earlier. That's a small banana tree. One, two, three, four, five, six. We learned a new recipe, how to make a stand for banana leaves. Certainly not at the stand making stage yet. One more. All right, now we just need to create an ember. And for that, hmm. For that, we should have, I should have thought ahead and started chopping up some, some, um, some of this grass so that it would dry out and create dry grass that we could use to start that fire. But since I didn't, we're going to have to look for a tree that will give us burnable fiber. Oh, well, that will work. This will work right here. I hate chopping these trees down because, as I mentioned, they drop these nuts that you can eat. But we're going to need to chop this one to get some dry grass to start our fire. Dry leaf, hold to take. Let's get another one since we're going to use that immediately. Come on, give me the dry leaf. Come on. I think there was one more dry leaf here. Yep, there it is. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Oh, maybe, maybe there's another one? Yep, all right, great. Now we've got plenty of fire starting materials. Now we just need to make a tool with which to start the fire. So to do that, we're gonna craft with a stick and a small stick. That'll give us a hand drill. Now we go to the fire category, or yeah, uh, use the hand drill. Drop in a piece of the dry leaf that we just made or picked up. Easy, Jake. It's just an ember. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Pedro. Somebody say a few words. I didn't know him that well. Yes, we had a connection, but I didn't, didn't really know anything about him. All right, Pedro's done. Um, and by done, I mean done. So what now? Well, we have a place to sleep. Uh, I think our ultimate goal, let's check our notebook real quick. Our ultimate goal is to find the masked elder of the tribe and search for spare parts to repair the radio. All right, so let's go see if we can go back up through the cave that we came down through and find the masked elder of the tribe. Although it is starting to get late. Ooh, yummy fruit. Yeah, let's check our... Our levels are still pretty good. We need a little bit of water. So that's starting from the left, the red one, protein, top left is protein, then carbohydrates, then water, then fats or lipids. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat these to get some carbs and water back. And let's not forget our coconut, our half a coconut back here. That's the only way we have at this point to get water. Damn it. What? Oh, I walked, shoot, I walked too close to the fire and burnt myself. Shoot. Oh, that's a bad burn. We'll just bandage it up so it doesn't get infected. And we're going to need more bandages too. You know, it's getting late. How late is it getting? Uh, it's 4.30. I think we can try to find the elder. 
before it gets completely dark, but we do already have a place to sleep right there on the boat. So I'm not worried about making a bed. I would like to make a, a spear, but I don't know if we have enough. Oh, we have enough rocks to make. All right, so let's craft a stone blade with the two stones. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find the elder tonight. It's it's going to be getting, especially with this rain, it's going to be getting too dark. And then use this long stick and the stone blade that we just made and a piece of rope to make a stone spear. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think we should just do a little bit of gathering collecting and gathering here instead of going to look for the elder tonight because by the time we find the elder it's going to be night and bedtime it's going to be too dark for us to see anything and we're just going to have to so let's just see what else we can we can gather up around here especially now that we have a spear we might be able to get us some food or something of course food's not going to do us any good without a fire on which to cook it that is probably animal droppings. Yeah, there's some animal droppings there. Yeah, without a fire to cook up the food, there's no point in us doing any hunting. And we can make a fire, sure, but it's the rainy season. It's So it's going to be raining all the time here. What else can we do in the meantime? You know what we can do is make a bow. Let's use one of these long sticks, craft with a piece of rope, and make a bow. And now before it gets too terrifically late that we can't see a thing, let's just wander around and see if we can pick up anything good off the, the forest floor here. Like, ooh, there's some Molinaria. Great, those will allow us to make more bandages, which we desperately need since we're down to our last one. Oh, and look what else, a Brazil nut. That's huge. Those are really, really good. Um, give you a lot of fat, a lot of lipids, and a little bit of carbs, and I think maybe even a little bit of protein. Oh, and look, these blue mushrooms, these give us a lot of energy. Yeah, 10 energy, that'll get our energy right up, but I think we'll save those for tomorrow. They may only come out at night, in which case I'll just save these. Come on, I should pick them up now and save them for tomorrow. They'll last a day, probably. All right, it's getting too dark for you and I to see anything. I hear something, but that's probably just an animal wandering around. Oh, an armadillo. Well... We can harvest him up if we if we made another stone blade, uh, but like I said, we there's no oh that's a termite mound or ant ants fire ants we don't want to go anywhere near that oh shoot damn it ah uh, I got me some ants on me I went a little too close to it trying to tell you not to go close to it darn it now we have oh, we got a rash all right it's definitely getting too dark to see so let's just head back and spend the night by Pedro's burning corpse. How pleasant. All right, let's take a look before it gets too dark at how bad our fire ant bites are. Yeah, not too bad. Those will heal on their own. They don't need a bandage or anything. Just be a little uncomfortable, uncomfortable for a while. Okay, well, the fire went out. Pedro's body is completely burnt. And I'm going to put the half coconut shell back down to gather water overnight. And then craft up these Molinaria into bandages. And then go to sleep. We'll start this again in the morning. Brazil nut. I'm going to save that. that. That'll last forever as long as it's looking like that. So I don't want to crack it open until we need it. Because that's when it'll start losing. Isn't it pretty? What a pretty game. Very nice.
Okay, I'm just going to go to sleep, and we'll get up in the morning and try to find the Elder. Good night, everybody. Well, we're up before the sun, which isn't great, but it'll... It's raining, so this will give us a chance to try to find that coconut bowl, drink some water, and let it fill again so we have a little more water. Our bug bites have still not healed. Oh no, we have something else wrong. Oh, leeches. The bug bites have healed, but we had we picked up a leech swimming out in the water there. So that leech is gone now. Um, I'm basically just going to stand here until the sun comes up. So we'll come back to this in a minute. See you soon. Okay, the sun is well up. Uh, well, it's it's on its way up. I went back to the boat and slept for another hour, even though I didn't need it, just to get the sun a little bit higher in the sky. It's not fully up yet, but it should be up enough for us to start moving out there's some charcoal from Pedro's Pedro's burned remains. Left us some charcoal and some campfire ash. No, I don't see any ash. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back the way that we came. Back to that first... Oh, good. Mushrooms, we need those. This will be breakfast. Let's check our stats here. Yeah, we need everything. We need protein, we need carbs, we need fats, and we need water. You can eat those right off the log, but I find it quicker to pick them up and eat them from my inventory. Oh, and we can eat this fruit from yesterday. And then no point in eating these blue mushrooms right now. They give us more energy, but our energy is full since because we just woke up. And I'm full on sticks, right? Okay, full on sticks. Probably full-ish on small sticks. we got to keep our eyes out for stones still. We're still looking for stones. There's one. And now that we have a spear, we shouldn't be in too bad shape coming through these caves. Whoop. Yeah. <gasps> Goodbye, scorpion. You can eat those scorpions. They're, they give you a little bit of protein after you cook them, but they, they're they not good for your sanity. Oh, hello. You okay, buddy? Wounded tribe member. This guy hurt his arm. Would you like a bandage? I have some. Here, have one of my bandages. Nope, not that bandage. All right, he's going to need a special bandage made with... Probably either lily or tobacco. Let's see if we can find some. Should I pick up more stones? I got six stones. That should be enough for now. I'm just moving kind of slowly through here. I don't want to step on another scorpion or a spider. I could kill that iguana pretty easily, but there's no point since we don't have a fire. All right, let's look around, see if we see any lilies or tobacco. Nothing. This is nice. How pretty. Oh, waterfalls. Beautiful. Might be nice to settle around here. Oh, there's crabs in the water, too. Those are yummy. I'm going to stay next to the water so we know where we are. And we can find our way back to that guy who needs help. That's an unknown flower that we could harvest and do something with. We could boil it up into a soup, but I'm not sure what it does. 
This is a nice, this would be a nice settlement location. We got water, we got crabs, probably fish swimming around in there. That is a harvestable plant, but not the one we're looking for. And I think I saw some more of those little clementines up here. Yeah. Oh, and there's something back in the... There's some kind of village or something back up in there. Let's grab these first. I should actually eat these. I, I need those right now. Let's go ahead and eat those up. And check our stats. All right, we're okay on water. We're okay on carbs. We need protein and fats. But we have... Oh, that'll, that'll give us some fats right there. Unknown nut. All right, good on fats. Just running a little low on protein. We have that frog's body that we can harvest and cook up if we had a fire. That's not going to give us a lot of protein, but a little bit anyway. Okay, so... A... An inhabited village. Ah, that's what we need, but we can't harvest it here in the village, apparently. Take some larva. I mean, that's last-ditch protein right there. If we right. Got, have no the other village. choices. Oh, good. Found the village. Hello, Elder. I found the Elder. How can I help you? Why the village is empty? Where is the tribe? The Wahara attacked us. Injured hunters kidnapped women. The children dispersed across the jungle. You will help. Okay, I will help. I will do anything to bring them back. So we have to retrieve um, people from the village. Regain... Regain the trust of the village. Okay, so Mugai Village. Trust, zero of a thousand. How to regain the village's trust. Find and rescue tribes from the village... Free the spirits of the killed tribe members with burning pyres. Learn the legends painted on the rocks and solve their stories. And destroy Wahara camps. Okay. Let's just look around the village. Here's a fire, and we can actually use this fire. Why don't we take this opportunity to cook up that um, that frog, harvest the, the cane toad. Let that cook and look around the rest of the village, see what we can find here. No beds. I guess we can't sleep here. Well, not now anyway, maybe later on we can. Another flower that we could use, but we can't actually harvest. Oh, that's a drying rack. Oh, fantastic. Now we can dry meats, which will make them last a lot longer than just cooking them. Speaking of cooking, that's about three quarters of the way done. Okay. So now we can make our own campfire and we can make our own dryer. Off to a good start, I think. Just got to give that cane toad meat a minute to cook up and then we will eat it and go... What should we do? I guess we got to start thinking about making our own settlement. I mean, we can we can use that 14 proteins plus 10 energy plus 1 sanity. Good. We could use the, the boat as kind of a home base for a while, but it's not very centrally located. I think I'd rather be, yeah, definitely want some bananas. And let's see check my carbohydrates whoops sorry pressing the wrong buttons our par carbohydrates are full so we'll see how long those bananas last just sitting there 
I'd like to be close to the village. If this is going to be someplace that we need to come back to a lot, and this spot over here was not that far away, I think we're going to make this our home base. Um, but we can do construction at night. I'd rather... We, we can't see anything at night, though, so I'd rather do a little bit more exploration here in the jungle. See if we can... That's another fire ants. Oh, toucan body. Good. Okay. Well, let's take that, and we still need protein, so I'm going to run back to the village and cook up this toucan body. Then we can also use the feathers that we're going to get off of harvesting it to make some arrows for, to use with our bow that we made. Harvest up the toucan body. Put the meat on the fire. And then use the feathers. We got six feathers off of there. I think we need two feathers and a small stick to make one arrow. And we can make three of these because we have six feathers. Now oh, we picked up a leech. We're going to have to get that off. Or actually, we picked up, it looks like, three leeches. We need to make ourselves some armor, too. It's pretty easy to make. Just need to gather the stuff for it. Get off, creepies. Oh, is that cooked yet? No, it's not going to be cooked yet. Almost. I'm not seeing any lily or t tobacco. Do you hear that? Oh, there's a kid down there. See that kid down there? We got to bring him back to the village. Ah, don't bite me. All right, we got the kid, but there's a rattlesnake over there, too. Thankfully, it did not tag us on the way past. Just give him a wide berth here. And get this little rapscallion back to his village. And that toucan meat should be cooked by the time we get back. Stay here, rapscallion. Great, we gained 30 trust. Our... Food and water is okay, not great, but okay. And I think we're just going to continue exploring and try to find some more lily or tobacco leaves to add to our Molinaria bandages and help that guy back in the cave. We have our bow now. We could do some hunting and cook it up on the campfire back there at the village. But our food is okay. To be honest, I'm more concerned about water. Although it is rainy season, so we can always just plop down. Oh, good. Another parrot body. I'm not going to go back and cook up the meat right now. It'll last a day or so before we have to before it goes bad. I got nothing, 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 nothing useful here. These big mushrooms you can boil up into a soup and they're good for you, I think. Or they do something for you. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what. This is a different cave. This is not the cave that we went down into or came up from. Better safe than sorry. I'm just, I'm not really sure what the nutrient requirements are on this. Um, should we go down in here? Let's go down in here. A scorpion. 
Oh, okay. So this is where we came from. This is where we started back up in there or back up in one of these areas. And then we came up here and we looked that way and then we went down this way. So we've already been through here. Okay. And then that is the cave that we came up through. That hissing sound, those are the, that's the iguana is the hissing sound. We don't worry about those, but that chittering sound are those nasty, poisonous spiders. I'm going to, I'm going to climb up here and just have a look around, see if we can see anything useful. Oh, Nice. Well, this is certainly a rich place to settle. We could we could we could do a lot worse than settling here because there's food all over. There's water. There's a little bit of shelter, sort of. Okay, but I'm not seeing anything that, of the things that we're looking for. Let's keep going. Just keep hugging the. Oh, I thought I saw something. Yes. Okay. These are lilies. Combine these with the Molinaria, the bandages that we made from the Molinaria. Oh, I heard something. Lily bandage, that should help. There's another kid. See the kid right there? Uh, but if we grab that kid, we're going to have to take him all the way back to the village. And we're so close to where that guy with the wound was let's do that first i don't think that kid's gonna move oops it's a little dim in here because it's raining now i do not want to step on a scorpion or spider Great. All right. Can a lily bandage help you, dude? Yes. Although this this guy looks different. This is not the same guy that was here earlier. And he'll take just a regular bandage, so. Excellent. Bye. You're welcome, by the way. Excellent. We still got half a day to do stuff. So let's see about rescuing that second kid. And then we really got to get started on a base, but I'll do that overnight. And let's see, we'll probably call it an episode when the sun sets and then I'll spend the night making the base or a, starting a base. And uh, you guys don't need to watch that because building is, I mean, we could do a little, whoa, he took off already. Shoot. Come back. All right, I got him. Now we just got to be careful we don't get bitten by a rattlesnake or a spider or a scorpion or fire ants, jaguars. How many of these kids do we have to rescue? They're so loud. Stop crying. I'm helping you. Oh, put a sock in it, kid. Peccary. Cool. This is where we're going to make our base. 
and then the f village is right over this way. You're welcome, kid. Stop crying now. Hey! Off to a good start with two kids already rescued and one tribal member. Actually, did he come back to the camp? Yeah. Okay, we're starting to get some people back in camp now. The kids are back. Well, two of the kids are back. And the sun is starting to set. Why don't we quickly run back and get a base started before the sun sets, and then I'll do more construction overnight. We will start with a little sleep spot. Here. Let's see. So if we're going to put the fire right in the center, let's put our sleeping area off to one side here. Um, so notebook. Buildings, shelter, shelter, leaf bed, banana bed, hut shelter. This is what we want. Allows to save a game, which is good, but also allows us to sleep. We're already carrying a bunch of sticks. Now we need a long stick, uh, which we can get from chopping down this. This will give us logs as well, which we're going to need once we start building a little uh, a roof for the, the fire that we're going to make, the campfire. Long stick. Should have got two long sticks. Yep, two long sticks. Now we need a third. Stupid piece of shit. Hey, easy. It broke. We'll make another one. Don't freak out. Let me get the other long stick, even though we don't need it right this second. We'll probably need it later. So we'll save this. Let's put it off to one side. Piece of rope and 13 palm leaves. Now we're going to have to make another axe to do that. Uh, sorry. Two stones, a stick, and a rope. Two, three, four, a five, a six. One, two, three, four. should be four, five. Good. I need two more. Pick up all six. You can only carry six. I can only carry six. But we'll put all the rest. Of, we're going to need more of these palm leaves eventually. So I'll save these extras. All right, great. So now we have a place to sleep and save our game, which I'm going to do pretty much right now and then get started on building a campfire here. And whoa, that's a poisonous dart frog. Those are useless, and I'm getting thirsty. Shoot. Uh, we can always go back to the fire at the at the village and cook water, but oops, that flipped over. But let's just hope it starts raining. We can boil water back at the village if we need to. I'm gonna just get rid of that. That's of new, no use whatsoever. Okay, all right, um, so we, we have a place to sleep and save our game now, and I'll do some more construction, and we'll pick this up. I'll do construction overnight, and we'll pick this up in the morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the Green Hell Spirits of Amaz Amazonia gameplay. There'll be more coming. Stay safe, survivors.